Um, okay, so... Did I get everything from here, too? When did I steal all this stuff? Did I record me stealing all this stuff? Or did I steal it because I needed money? Uh, let's talk to the mayor, because he actually has a question. Back again. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, hello again. Please tell me how I can help you during your investigations. I know your plate is full enough to fill you for days. Uh... Tell me about the issues in Sysil. What? Oh, you mean Sysil. Very difficult. Difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by source magic no less weren't enough, we are also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The undead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of the whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult, or some such sticking its tendrils into the innocents. Seven fearing folks of Sysil. And <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a mal magic relic I'd rather foolishly sought. A weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Okay. What's this about a Staff of Pergamon? That's the what of what now? You're speaking gibberish. Ah, you mean the Staff of Pergamon. Yes, yes. I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat atypical to a government official. Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. Tell me about the merchant. His name's Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter, a merchant ship that's still docked at the Sysil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved, if you don't mind. Okay, sure. Um... I think that's the only quest he has, so done with him. Bye! Um, and I should have done it earlier, but I kind of forgot. Let's see. Who the gallows I say? Cheeks, cheese. Not in the Medora, cheese. calm your tits. Uh, let's go inside. So yeah, like I said, um, I kind of uh, played on my own on a separate characters. Uh, with, and I've learned a lot, so I'm going to get as many quests which includes a quest from Unsinkable Sam. Meow. I'm not actually going to meow. You don't get that pleasure. Never saw you in King Crab before. You're welcome to scratch my be scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. Who are you? I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. Used to be a ship's cat. But the clipper I was on sank and I was the only one to wrestle myself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. Tell me about the ship you were on. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would, like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive. That was more than anybody else could say. You were the only survivor? So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats. I used to hunt in the galley, and there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Some folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there's no one like Maxine. About Maxine. Maxine, the mare's darling pet. So gentle, so fair, if you like. The grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of her dyes and her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me, I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I've serenaded her and I've braved many a bucket of water for my efforts, but for some reason, she is not to be swayed. All right. Bye. Let's go talk to Maxine. Who's in here? Vibrations, I'm sure! Don't be seduced, comrades! You crazy, crazy, crazy bitch. Alright, and Maxine. Greetings. Golly gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Sysil with the easy elegance of puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare among around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. About Unsinkable Sam. 
Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pa's over tails in love with me, and who can blame him? The feelings, well, rather mutual, actually, but that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they, with an alley cat for a papa? Dear Sam, he's such a good old bean, but he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standard. Alright, well, uh, say what you will. I'm not gonna say anything, in case I have any female fans, viewers, whatever. I don't want to offend anyone. I mean, I probably will anyway, but... Alright, let's talk to Tom again. About Maxine. Ah, so there's the rub. I am but a stray and she is the mayor's cat. Oh, I do understand her, I do. She wants a Tom of means, not privation. One who brings home the sardines and the occasional halibut. Were that I still had my collar. Such a marvel it was, a bejeweled as the night sky, with precious stones said to have once been worn by a far off Maharaja's best hunting cheetah. Like the king of all cats I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a prince whom I have kept companion during a long and perilous journey. A precious band of gemstones lost as I was tossed around by the waves, like a ball in a game of catch. Among the waves it remains, I imagine, worn perhaps by a, crown, uh, by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only I could be the Caesar again and Maxine my Caesarina. Okay, uh, I remember... Uh, Kitty Love. Alright, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so, are there any other quests that I did in my other playthrough? I got about the same, like, distance in the main story, but I did do a lot of other stuff, a lot of side quests, just to. Uh, the main reason is a lot of them have multiple achievements. So, like, do it one way, do it the other way. And, uh, if I want to get all of them, I can either save, do it, and then change my mind and do it again. Or do two playthroughs, and I really like this game, so I decided I will do two playthroughs. I will openly admit that the other one that you guys don't get to see is going a thousand times better. But that's the price we pay for uh, being being new at this game. Um, so let's see. Uh, this can go to Medora. I think I think that's all of them. Let's see. Journal! That's L for whatever for reason. Seal of the staff, orc blood food. Oh, like orc blood food. So let's go, uh, let's go talk to the fucking Mr. Crazy Pants. Who is... here. All I get is drink of water. And drop my ring on the ground. <clears throat> Alright, so he is here. Talk to him. Uh, about, about the assistance you asked of me. Yes, yes. Have you made the orc feel the black and biting cold centered toward the gaggling grap of the greedy grave? Here you go, Victoria's amulet. Yes, so it is, so it is. Ha ha ha! By Angus the Impaler's favorite stake, you have done it well by me. O oh, ravager of Cal the last of their line is dead. The house of Gundavum has been avenged. Sweet flowing blood. The quest of decay is at an end. My wealth is yours. My life is death. By the hollow sockets of the void wood eye goucher, I bid thee thanks and fond farewell. Bye. And he's out like a crazy person. So he said his stuff is now mine. So that consists of like this painting. Oh, he actually dropped the chest. Never mind. Taking the painting anyway, because they're fucking worth a lot of money. What do you got? What do you got, crazy dude? Alright, some armor. Send it to Frederick, who I believe has. Yes, he does. I'll probably give this to uh, Medora. Uh, armor rating. Oh, strength 10. Never mind. Medora's only at 9. Yeah. Oh, and uh, one thing I plan on doing, either my next level up, if possible, pumping a point into intellect and giving him geomancy. Because I have currently a solid two-hander, a solid sword and board, a fire water air mage, and a water air mage. And then it's kind of... Obviously, I'll probably try and get rid of Yahan. 
uh, whenever, probably chapter two or act two, whatever. Um, what am I doing? I was saying, I was, I fucking lost my train of thought. Battering ram, whirlwind, okay, I think, I think I want it like this. And Jahan, uh, that's a cure. I do have two cures though, so, uh, my odds of, you know, death are minorly reduced. All right, I'm happy with that layout. Um, so let's go talk to the ship's captain and uh, find out where the staff is or what he thinks happened to it. And then I forgot what else I was gonna say. And then we'll uh, we'll go. We'll probably go do the lighthouse boss. I'll probably attempt that first. Um, since I think that will, that's only a level five encounter and I, obviously I died, like, you I think you only, I only, I'm only going to show you two, I think I only showed you two, but it was like four times I tried and died. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, one thing I am concerned about is 7,000 experience to my next level. Seven, okay, they're actually about the same. Same. He died a couple times, so he's a little bit higher. I was concerned about that. That they would, uh, they'd be auto leveled to four because you, they're, they're normally level three. Because that's pretty much the earliest you can find them. Uh, but they're actually about the same, which is good. And I should, uh, definitely get some more potions with my 5,000 gold. Is that why we never sailed to you for gore All right, ship's captain is this guy, Conrad. Speaking of you, Bulldog, that loopy legionnaire... Ahoy, Sailor! Again. Who are you enjoying Loves the fresh it. winds of Sicil? What do you know about the staff of Pergammon? Ah, that Sicil's worse than a rooster, crowing all around town about matters he ought to know to better keep quiet. Well, if you know about the staff, I suppose you also know it's gone without a trace. For my part, I haven't a clue where it could have gone. Overboard, stolen, or vanished into thin air. So I'm quite eager to see it return. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. Wouldn't hurt to ask some of my men. I tried myself, but sailors tend to be a bit tight-lipped when they're afraid of getting one another in some trouble. Seaman's code, you know, not to rat out a fellow sailor. Um, Bye. I wouldn't let an orc within 500 yards. Sailor, probably not, not the one actually named Sailor. This one has a name. So we're gonna talk to Mar. By the seven, there's nothing like the smell of the sea air. What do you know about the staff of Pergammon? Now that you mention it, I noticed Dietmar, a fellow merchant traveling with us, carrying a sealed box off the ship during the attack. At the time, I figured he was just escaping with his personal effects, but it could have well been the staff that you're talking about. Okay, let's talk Bye. to the captain again. Heard a blah 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 staff of Pergammon. Don't know the details of it myself. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, one of your men said Dietmar Mark made off with a package. What? That weasel has it for sure, but I'll tell you this, I didn't speak of that staff to a soul on board. If he's the one who took it, he must have known it was on the ship before stepping foot on the docks. Dex. I'm sure he'll make a run for it, probably by boat. I'd look for him on an out-of-sight beach somewhere. He's probably there now, trying to launch a vessel in private. If he hasn't already escaped, that is. Alright. Bye. Um, what else can we do? Staff. Statues. I think we're gonna go attempt the lighthouse. Feels like something I could do. Um, I might buy more potions though. Let me, let me mouse my way up there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Um, no, she has potions. Before we buy these potions, I'm gonna do a little magic trick. I'm gonna separate all my characters, right? And, uh, he's gonna talk to this dude. If you find that most prefer talking to the main heroes, though they're willing to trade with companions too. And then we're gonna switch to her, and she's gonna go over here. And talk to this lady. And then he's gonna not be able to stealth. And he's gonna talk to her. That might be good enough. Oh, come over here. We're gonna stand like right here. Ready? Ready? Fucking okay. Uh, who else can see me? Um, 
of these two. Come on. All right, change the plan. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm done talking to you. Let's go. Oh wait, Bye. wait. Alright, all these paintings right here, you can steal them. You need all four characters to do it. And maybe a couple points in stealth. I don't know. Who will fucking see me? Her? Maybe her. Let's go over here. I'm gonna get. Let's see. Halibut. Cheese, cheese. Tomato. Ah, there we go. And steal. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. You bitch. She saw me. Stop looking at me. Bye. Let us see if you can choose the finest ratings. Back again. Quiet day on the market, it seems. Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for fine potatoes. Heavenly herring, delicious dogfish, fuels for a scrap of goldie. Red and orange, yellow and green, the finest veggie sites you'll ever see. Takers. Come on, you chickens. Let us see if you can choose. No one has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. Alright, got him. I know it's dirty and underhanded, but I really need money, especially with, uh, uh, fucking four characters now. So let's end all these conversations. Oop, uh, I'll take my leave. And let's regroup. And they're gonna have a conversation about stealing. Uh. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so let's sell these paintings back to the dude who owns them. For some cash. Because, you know. See, he's got 2,000. What's this one worth? I think. Okay, God looks too much. Um, wow, that's actually a whole lot better. Um, Alright, now I got a little more spending money. I'm going to buy some more potions. Take my leave. Send this to Fred. I wonder how Medea sweet. Fred, wherever the hell he's at. Identify. Send that to Medora. She might be able to equip it eventually. Perception plus one. Uh, critical chance, initiative. Let's see who has the lowest initiative. 12, 10, 11, so he should probably he get it. Come on, you chickens. Send to rocks. Rock will equip. Alright. Uh, oh, actually, and. I think that was better, right? So she has potions. I can sell this cup and this blackjack. And. Let's do that, and then, uh. He has a this spell book that I don't care about. All right, uh, three thousand. He got six thousand. So let's see. Does she have any potions? I might have already bought them all. Uh, looks like I may have already bought them all. All right, never mind. So. To the lighthouse and Bye. jump cut.